Hi guys, welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. One take session, no edits, no cuts on Bill Pulte, PP Seeds, The Grift, that is, Bed Bath & Beyond. And yes, I did see their live stream yesterday. I didn't watch it yesterday, I just watched it today, right now, right after my live stream. I went and saw on Hannah Reloaded, 1.5, I played it at fast speed, and I watched. And I was like, wow, this is terrible, this is, this is gross. But I get it, I get it. So... For those of you that have no idea what I'm talking about, this is my reaction video to Bill Pulte and PPC doing a show last night. And guys, it's not the first time they've come around each other, but and, for, and uh, no pun intended. But if you guys don't know this, 18 months ago, I talked to Kais Malej. I told Kais Malej in private interview or in public interviews here on the channel, I said, hey, Kais, I think you're wrong. I think you're wrong about the investment Bed Bath & Beyond. I think this company is not what you say it is. And I think you're wrong. He got upset, started making bashing videos, started doxing videos, started thinking I am my brother. And he's like, you don't have a twin and all this stuff. Take off your shirt. Show me your tattoos. Stuff like that. So I let it go. You guys know the story. PP Seeds saw him when he had 100 subscribers, went in there. Now he has 9,000. And you ask yourself, who's actually watching and getting confused based off of the investments or the information they give? Or are they watching for entertainment, as they call it? Because back then... You know, 10 months ago, 12 months ago, I said, hey, Bed Bath & Beyond's a bad investment. It's going, going bankrupt because of X, Y, and Z. Like, we knew what was happening. And now that it's gone completely, there are no shares to buy. There are no shares to sell. It's completely done. The executives have moved on to other companies. They no longer work at Bed Bath & Beyond. Sue Gove herself no longer lists Bed Bath & Beyond as her current employer on LinkedIn. So everybody, oh, that's a good thing. No, it, doesn't, it means it doesn't exist anymore. We know that part. But then you hear, you see this damn live stream yesterday where they're just shilling for anything, shilling for the Pulte Home Group, Kais Malej is involved, everyone that I've ever talked to or talked about. Like you see Bill Pulte, I made a video for Bill Pulte two years ago where he was talking about getting involved with GameStop and why he should or why he shouldn't. I made the video. I got the interview. I did the interview because I was critical of him and I'm still critical of him. Those are his words, not mine. And I'm telling you, these guys are grifting off a crowd that is a wounded animal. These guys have nothing. Bed Bath & Beyond investors lost everything. Do they know they lost everything? No, they, they're still clinging on to hope. Well, Ryan Cohen's still here, guys. He liked my tweet. What does that mean? You see, you asked for a reaction video, right, of their reaction, of their videos. What, what, what do you want to hear? What is it that's going to make you guys happy right about now? Hey, Bed Bath & Beyond, these guys rented a helicopter got in the helicopter, flew in a circle, and landed right back down. Do you know that? You should know that. These aren't very important people. This is all optics. Hired paparazzi and lighting and, and microphones and cameras. All optics. Do you understand you're being played? All for what? For a couple of votes to vote him in back to his family's business that he got kicked out of? Never worked one day in his life for a dollar himself. And you're going to tell me this is the guy you trust. And Peepy, along for the ride, every other word is F this, F that, with the back in a pull to you, the back in a pull to you. He knows, he knows who's paying for this. Because you couldn't afford it being a failed VR company holder. It would never work that way. My money goes to my family, my kids, and my life. And these guys, well, they take everyone else's life. I mean, look at this. I've never seen anything like it in my life. I, I'm wild. I'm, I'm just, I'm beyond belief. I've talked to documentary directors today who said this is phenomenal. This is movie-esque. And they're not talking about it in the light you think they are. They're talking about it in the world that's crumbling around you. Financially, you are being manipulated, people. Telling you that Ryan's involved. Guess what? Ryan is the CEO, chief investment officer, executive chairman of the board for GameStop. I didn't see one sign. I didn't see one, one passage. I didn't see one t-shirt. I didn't see one inclination that, hey, GameStop is what we are, what, we, what we're all proud of. Ryan Cohen, yes, you're involved. That's where I'm at. Not one person. And yet Larry shows up, and that gives them some credibility, right? Larry Chang shows up. He does three minutes, and what does he do? Hi, guys. Hi, yeah, this is what is Grove, 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 whatever. And that's going to be, well, Morantz, he got the interview. Yeah. GMEDD got the interview with Ryan Cohen. Show me their credibility. That's not what makes you credible. What makes you credible is when you do your due diligence and you invest in a company and you understand the company and then you understand the ebb and flow of the markets. 
and then you live through it. You document it. And then you're real about it. It's not 10 months in the splash of class. They're just buying the following. They're buying the attention. Anybody could have did that. I've turned down plenty of dollars. You don't believe it? People are bought and paid for. PPCs. You're a sellout. You're bought and paid for. I'm not a hater, kid. I make my six figures. I'm worth over a million dollars. I'm okay in life. You couldn't buy me. That's the point. Everyone that follows that channel and that show is going to lose their money and they're going to figure it out too late. I've been the realest motherfucker on this planet for 40 years. Ask my twin brother. Ask my pops. Ask anybody I work with, I live with. You guys figure it out. There's men out here that do homework, that understand investments, that don't lie to people. You guys, you want to see the reaction to it? There it was. Thank you, Hannah Reloaded, for uploading the whole damn thing so I could watch it on your channel and not theirs. I support content creators for the content they create. I do not support grifters. I never have. I never will. You know where to find me. You know that my message has been the same every day since I started. You know what I told you. You're in a failed investment, tied up with private equity. Connect the dots. You had the videos. You had the interviews. You had the interaction, and you deleted it. You scrubbed it from your YouTube channel. Because it would prove to everyone that follows you today that you're a fake. Welcome to it, PP Seeds. And as far as Bill Pulte goes, this is my opinion, Bill. Cue it up. Peace, punks.